I don't drink, fight, or love, but these days I find myself wanting to do all three. And I don't really have a favorite color anymore, but I did when I was a kid, and back then, that color was blue. And back then, I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be an architect, an artist, a secret agent, a ranger for the World Wildlife Fund, and a hobo. And when I was six years old, I always throw my clothes in my blue and yellow, plastic and vinyl, Hot Wheels car carrying suitcase and run away to beneath the dining room table. I've made out with more girls than I wish that I've had, and not nearly as many as I would like to. I've been in love three or four times, so I doubt I'm going to try that much more often, and I spend most days making pictures or thinking about making pictures, or masturbating or thinking about masturbating. And I dream too much, and I don't write enough, and I'm trying to find God everywhere. I'm trying to figure out this thing he made called a man. And the television tells me that it's bare knuckle bombing. And if I drove a tank or was a movie star, my penis would be huge. And that's what I want, because that's what being a man means, or at least that's what they keep telling me. My pops, he takes care of us. He puts the garbage out twice a week. He drives 45 minutes to water flowers. I'm sitting on the bus with a seven-year-old boy carrying a book of Robin Hood. He sits down next to me and he asks me my name. Anise, that's a nice name. Thank you. What's yours? Quentin. Anise, do you want to read with me? So tell me what my fists keep writing. My fingers open up like gates when I type, and the wind is swinging the wake. I lift bridges with poems, and forests grow in my mother's eyes. I am looking for God, Quentin. While this world tries to forget you for trying, for this world, Quentin, it hates your eyes, for they are small and pure. And Quentin, this world hates your fingers. Little like the sims of flowers, for not being able to pick up the things that you left behind, just because you are still learning to do so. I don't drink, fight, or fuck, but these days, Quentin, it's only two out of those three that I don't do. And I've fallen in love six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Quentin. I don't want to want to, but I still do. And I want to find God in the morning and the tired hands of dust at the mouth of the river and down by its feet. But instead, I drive 60 through residential streets, praying to the child. And you say, they're full of night and light and crayons and simple outstretched limbs. Try to pick up way too much, way too fast, forgetting what it means to be a person. In a world where egos are measured with tabloids, where automobiles double for morals, where beliefs are like naps you leave them behind when somebody touches you, and in a place where oil always seems to take precedence over life, I find myself sitting on a bus watching a small boy float down like fresh water, carrying a book that I used to, asking if I want to see what he sees if only for a little while, and I do. And then asks if I want to give to him what I see if only for a little while, and I read to him. And then says to me, he's going to show me the world. And starts reading me the sentences himself, his hands dancing back and forth across the pages, stumbling over words, skipping whole lines, with his fingers moving back, they're showing his eyes. I want to tell him, slow down. I want to tell him, slow down, Quentin. You don't have to touch and go. You can see it all if your finger whispers on one word. Slow down and hold what you see just a little while longer. For in a world full of fast faces, I'm looking for God everywhere. Trying to figure out a little better this little thing he made called a man. Thank you.